Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about how to use the dynamic crosshatch shapes that are available inside the Cadence BCB tools. So, um, similar to kind of this type of uh, shape display here, um, they're normally used on flexi rigid PCBs um, because having a solid piece of copper on here could potentially crack when you're bending the flexi. Um, so, by adding kind of a crosshatch shape, you get a, a slightly better performance. But Designers are actually starting to use these shapes on main boards as well, so I'll just go through the settings about how you can add these uh, to your designs. So if we look under the shape menu, global dynamic parameters, under the shape fill, the X hatch style effectively, this is how the shapes get added and the parameters that it uses. So um, I've effectively got, you know, let's go and make these slightly bigger. So we'll make a line width of one on one. Uh, and you can specify the different angles that you want here. Once that's set, we then go to the choose the shape that you want to add. So if I just choose shape rectangular, for example, uh, we look at the options pane layer. So I actually can now add dynamic crosshatch or I can add a static crosshatch. Obviously, dynamic would update dynamically when you dropped in vias and pins and stuff. Static crosshatch, you'd have to do that manually. Um, so you've got the choices here, but we'll do the dynamic crosshatch and I can then choose the net that I want to add it to and then go and draw the copper shape that I want and you can see it then adds that shape based on the parameters that I've set.